let's get started with integrating the AWIN tracking onto your store via Google Tag Manager. Before you start integrating the AWIN tracking, it is important to understand its requirements. The minimum required components are variables to hold the transaction ID and its total revenue, as well as triggers that should tell GTM when a conversion occurred. If you already have these variables and triggers, you can skip to this timestamp. If not, click on the preview button at the top right corner of the screen and add your website's URL. This will open the website in Tag Assistant, which will help you better visualize your data layer, variables and events. Now go to your website and perform a test purchase. Back in Tag Assistant, select Data Layer and try to find a custom event for that conversion in the corresponding page. In my case, the custom event is called Purchase. If you do not have any custom events, you can check the DOM ready calls and see what the data layer there is. Just keep in mind that a DOM ready event is always triggered when a new page loads, so make sure you're in the correct page by checking if the transaction ID property is present. Now that we have access to the success page's data layer, we can see that the transaction ID and total revenue in my case are under e-commerce and then purchase. We can also see that my data layer has data on each product purchased by the user, which will be relevant later on. We now have everything needed to start the integration, so keep the Tag Assistant window open and go back to Google Tag Manager. Enter the folder section on the left and create a new folder for Avon. Click the hamburger menu icon and let's start creating our variables. Firstly, create a variable to map the transaction ID. This should be a data layer type variable. We can always refer back to Tag Assistant to check the data layer path to each variable. Since the transaction ID is under e-commerce and then purchase, we'll have to specify this path in our new data layer variable. So back in GTM, just type the path and separate each section with a dot. Now let's do the same for the total amount, which is called revenue in my data layer. If your data layer has data on any taxes or shipping fees, it is also recommended that you map those. So let's create new variables for them as well. So now that we have the revenue, the shipping and the taxes applied, we can create a new custom JavaScript variable to remove these extra values from the revenue. If you do not have shipping and taxes field in your data layer, you can just skip this step. If you have a currency and a coupon field in your data layer, please map them. They are optional, but certainly good to have. Since this data layer has information on the purchased products, we can also map this array. Keep in mind this is also optional. Okay, let's go for another variable. And this is going to be a first party cookie type variable. You can call it Awin Channel Cookie. Let's name it Awin Channel as well and save. The last variable will be a constant and should receive your merchant ID provided to you by your integrator. I'll just use a test merchant ID here but please use yours and not the one shown in the video. Call this variable a win merchant ID and save. So now we can go ahead and create the Avon tags. Firstly let's create our new tag go into tag configuration and choose the blue option here that says discover more tag types in the community template gallery. In this section you can filter for Awin and choose the Awin advertiser master tag. Click on choose template and pass in the merchant ID variable we created previously. This tag should have a trigger of type all pages and you can name it Awin master tag. Hit save 
go for a new tag, tag configuration, discover more tag types and community template gallery. Filter for Avon and choose the Avon AWS click identifier tag. Add that to your workspace. It comes already set up with the default values. You don't have to change anything here. All that you need to do is check the using all page trigger checkbox and choose an all pages trigger. I just name it Avon. Press click identifier and save. And create a new tag. This is going to also be a tag from the community template gallery. You can filter for Awin again, but this time choose Awin conversion tag. Click on add to workspace and add. And here, pass the merchant ID again and all the parameters that we created previously, like the transaction ID and the amount. For the commission group code, you can pass in the value default, just like that. And for the currency, you can pass in static values if you did not create the currency variable like we did. I'm going to choose the variable as I have that. The channel, instead of a static AW, we're going to pass the AV channel cookie variable that we created voucher let's pass in the coupon variable these last three properties they are optional if you have a commission structure based on customer type if it is a new or returning user you can pass in a variable that returns those two values pay attention that this parameter should be populated with either new or returning based on the customer type custom parameters can function as additional data which can appear in the transaction reports available in the awin ui so if you want to enrich the ui with extra data you can populate this parameter with a variable that returns a string array for product level tracking we can pass in the products variable that we created we can override the default product properties by checking this option here in the tag and passing the correct name so for example if it says product underscore ID in your data layer you can pass that information here if instead of name it says item title you can pass that information here as well since my data layer is just as the default I'm gonna leave this option unchecked you can use a trigger that fires when a conversion takes place so just save the tag click on save again And now you have the required components for the AWIN tracking to work. And now we can start testing the components we installed. For that, you can go to the AWIN UI, hover your mouse over support, and choose the tracking diagnosis option. In here, click on the create a test transaction button and link and hit copy link address. Go back to Google Tag Manager and hit preview. Paste the Avon link you just copied in here and hit connect. This is going to redirect you to your website passing through an Avon link, which is going to add all the Avon click events necessary for tracking to work. Once in the website, you can either hit F12 on your keyboard or right click somewhere and hit the inspect option. Here, navigate to the applications tab. On the left side, you can choose the cookies drop down and expand it and click on the first domain. Here you can see the Avon channel cookie was created correctly. It is based off of UTM source of the URL and the AWS end cookie was also created correctly. It retrieves the value of the AWC parameter from the URL. This one is created by the Avon master tag and this is created by the last click identifier tag. You can also verify that it triggered by going to the network tab, filtering for DWIN in here and refreshing the page if you don't see it there already. Great, now that we know that the master tag fired correctly, we can finish a test purchase. Once the purchase is made, you can go back to the network tab in here. And instead of filtering for DWIN, you can filter for SREAD. This is going to show you the request from the conversion tag. So in here, you can see the merchant ID parameter, the amount, the currency that is coming from the data layer, the order ID, the commission group code, which we set to default. We also have a voucher code here, which was used uh, in this example test. You can see here in the data layer. Uh, the channel is receiving the value from the cookie and the CKS is also receiving the value from the cookie. So this cookie and this cookie. This shows us that the AWIN tracking is working properly. 
We can also verify the product level tracking requests. This is going to trigger one request per product. And you can see here, for example, the last request has all the parameters populated correctly. Great, with this final test being made, you can go back to GTM and submit the changes. that is done, you can contact your integrator and run the last few tests.